I work for the Scottish Canoe Association based here in the Upper Tay Valley and my job is to be a development coach for the sport of canoe slalom. This weekend uh, we've got a double Div 3 and Division 4 competition which is the Division 4 is the lowest level of competition and it runs like football divisions so you move through Division 4, Division 3, Division 2, Division 1 and then Premier Division so a lot of young people that are just starting out in slalom this is an ideal opportunity because we've got a nice flat water site for them here. We've got some people from Stirling Canoe Club, we've got Aberdeen Canoe Club here and one or two others, Strathallan Canoe Club are here as well. We've got some paddlers over from Northern Ireland and who are happening to be in Scotland on holiday so they've come to join us. We've got some paddlers from Wales and some from England. Uh, so yeah, athletes from all over the country and all of the ranking competitions in the UK, even right down to Div 4, um, are open to anyone from the UK. They then get put into a national ranking system so young people that compete today in two or three days time will be able to find out where they're positioned in the United Kingdom. Last year we got a young person from this area into the GB under 18 team. Uh, this year we're two thirds of the way through the selection races. So the next selection race is in two weekends time. Um, we've got two young people, uh, one boy and one girl, um, both in third place uh, or for the under 18 squad. However, they've both got to perform very well at the last event to, to secure that third place because there's very, very stiff competition. And up, up, up. It tends to be the thing that people always shout to slalom paddlers on the water. Um, it comes from keep your paddles up because as the paddles drop then the shoulders drop and, and you're not getting drive on the boat. So you're looking for, for athletes to have a nice vertical paddle. So that's been shortened over time all the way back just to up. <laughs> The local canoe club, they've got um, volunteers doing all the judging and we've got people that are looking after the safety and then all the organisation up at the top end and, and providing home baking and all sorts. So it, it really is a big family community event.